Okay, good day. So, uh, this is our first lecture for the civil service exam uh, mathematics review. So, lahat po ng videos namin dito sa uh, aming lecture is all about mathematics. Naway makatulong po ito sa mga gustong pumasa sa civil service exam. Okay? So, it's for free lang po. Just subscribe lang po sa mga videos namin. And uh, if ever may marami kayong mga tanong, you can message me. I'm Engineer Melvin John H. Manzuelo. So, I'm offering no, kung may, uh, may consultation for free online. Okay? So, naway makatulong po ito. So, this will be our very, very first topic. So, basic math, GCF. When we say GCF, this is greatest common factor. Okay, again po, free po ito, walang bayad. Just subscribe lang po. And ang kinaganda dito, pwede nyo pong ulit-ulitin yung videos kung mayroon kayo hindi maintindihan. Pero kung medyo hindi po talaga klaro yung lecture or meron kayong questions, huwag mahiyang mag-PM po sa akin. Okay, so let's start our lecture about greatest common factor. Okay. So, this will be our first problem. What are the factors of 24? A. 1, 2, 6, 12, and 24. B. 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, and 12. C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. D. 2, 6, 12, 24. So, paano po ba ito siya gawin class? Okay? Paano po ba ito siya gawin? Ano ba yung factor? Okay? Ano ba itong tinatawag natin na factor? Ano po ito, class? Okay? So, what are the factors of 24? So, sinabi po natin factors, yan po, yan po yung definition natin. Pag sinabi po natin factors, numbers that can divide an integer, ito po yung integer natin, like 24, it's a given sa problem. Numbers that can divide an integer is called its factor or divisor. So, ibig sabihin, class, Pag i-divide mo siya, halimbawa itong mga nasa choices natin, 24 divided by 1, 24 divided by 2, 24 divided by 6, 24 divided by 12, 24 divided by 24, if ang result is 0 po, ano, if my result and remainder is 0, ibig sabihin, factor po siya ng 24. So, upon checking po sa letter A, kung naka, napansin po natin sa letter A, given 24, then, i-divide po natin lahat ng numbers sa letter A. Kung mapapansin po natin, remainder po niyan is 0 po. So, correct po ito sa letter A. Pero, wag na wag muna kayong sasagot na letter A. Yan kasi yung mga always na ano po sa exam. Mga tricky part. Okay? Usually po, ang question sa mga board exam, ako po, nag-take na po ako ng board exam sa engineering, uh, uh, ano po, Ang usually the instruction po is choose the best answer. Okay? Correct answer naman po yung si letter A. Tignan po natin si letter B. 24 divided by 2, 12. 24 divided by 3, 8. 24 divided by 4, 6. 24 divided by 6, 4. 24 divided by 8, 3. 24 divided by 12, 3. Correct din po si letter B. Sa upon checking naman po si letter C, 24 divided by 1, 24 divided by 2. Correct naman po si letter C. Pati naman po si letter D. So, ibig po sabihin class, lahat po sila sagot. Pero, ang pipiliin lang po natin dito class is yung kompleto. Kasi po, kasali po sa factor, yung 1 at saka the number itself. Sa, sa choices po class, ito, tama naman to kasali si 1 na number itself, pero kulang naman po yung ibang kasama niya as factors. Kailangan kompleto po. And sa apat na choices, ang kompleto po na factors na 24 is si letter letter C. Okay? So, tanda lang, numbers that can divide an integer is called is factor or divisor and dapat, pag divide mo sa kanya, walang remainder. Okay? No remainder and ito po yon. given the number, in short po, ito po yung tandaan natin. Given number, yung given po number dyan is 24 and divide one of factors na nasa choices, dapat yung answer daw with zero remainder. So, pero lahat sila satisfied naman si A, B, at saka si C, at saka si D. Pero ang kompleto po as factors of 24 si letter, letter C. Kaya yung correct answer po dito class is letter C. 
Okay, so I hope klaro po itong problem number one. Let's try to problem number two. What are the factors of 18? Ganun pa rin po. Okay, ganun pa rin po yung gawin natin. Yung given number, divide natin ng mga number na nasa choices. Dapat nung lalabas sa sagot, walang remainder or not necessarily zero ang remainder. So, upon checking sa choices class, 18 divided by 1, 18. Zero remainder. 18 divided by 2, 9. 18 divided by 3, uh, 6. 18 divided by 6, 3. 18 divided by 9, 2. 18 divided by 18, 1. So, upon checking, kung napansin ninyo class, kompleto po si letter A. Kasi ito wala namang 9. So, therefore, the correct answer is letter A. Okay? So, yun po ah. Klaro po kung ano ang factors. Factors po, yun po yung mga numbers na pag i-divide po natin sa given, lahat lalabas complete number. Hindi po siya decimal. Ibig sabihin, wala pong remainder. Ibig sabihin po, zero po ang remainder. Halimbawa, 8. Ano ba yung factors ng 8? 1, 2, 4, at saka 8. Hindi naman po 3. Kapag 8 divided by 3, lalabas na decimal or lalabas na may remainder. Okay? So, let's proceed to sample problem number 3. What are the common factors of 18 and 24? Anong kaibahan sa question na to or sa problem na to sa problem number 1 and 2? Ang kaibahan lang, etong what are the common factors of 18 and 24? Ano yung uh, factor ng 18 na factor din ng 24? Yun na po yun. Ano yung factor ng 18 na factor din ng 24. Factors common to both given numbers, 18 and 24. So, itong letter A class, yan po yung factors of 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Si letter B naman, yan po yung factors of 18. Ano yung common sa kanila? 1, 2, 3, at saka si 6. Okay? So, kaya, the correct answer here is letter, letter C. Okay? So, let's proceed. Sa problem number 4, the GCF of 18 and 24 is. So, gawin natin dito class, kunin natin muna ang factors of 18 and then kunin muna natin din ang factors of 24. After natin makuha ang factors of 18 and 24, kukunin natin yung common factor ng dalawa. And then, pag makuha na natin yung common factors ng 18 at saka 24, choose the largest number. Okay, yun na po yung GCF. That is the first method in solving the GCF of two numbers, two or more numbers. Another way to solve for the GCF of numbers is using prime factorization. So, titignan natin kung magkaparehas ba yung, yung sagot. So, two methods po yung ituturo ko dito kung paano isolve yung GCF or greatest common factor. Okay, so yung factors of 24, we have 1. 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Yan po yung factors of 24. Factors of 18, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. So, yung common factors ng 24 at saka 18 is 1, 2, 3, at saka si 6. Yung sabi ko kanina, choose the uh, from the common factors, ito po yung common factors nila, common kay 18 at saka 24, choose the largest. So, the largest is 6. So, therefore, the GCF of 18 and 24 is 6. That is letter B. Okay, may sagot na tayo. Another way, in order for us to solve the GCF, is yung common na tinuturo. If I remember during my elementary days, yung common na tinuturo po is yung prime factorization. Ano nga yung prime number? Yung prime number is wala kang pwede madibay sa kanya, kundi yung kanya sarili or one lang. Okay, example ng prime numbers. 1, 2, 3. Yung 4 is hindi po prime number kasi pwede mong madibay sa kanya si, po, uh, si 2. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7. Yun po yung mga prime numbers. So, paano po? Kukunin po natin yung uh, prime factorization ng 18 at saka ng 24. For 18, yan po siya class. 2 and 3 are prime numbers and therefore, para makaform ka ng 18 out of the prime numbers, you have uh, 2 times 3, times 3. Okay? So, 2 times 3, 6 times 3, 18. Yan po si 18. Sa 24 naman po, class, yan po. The prime numbers, 2 and 3 pa rin yung gamit natin. 2 times 3, 
that is 6 times 2, 12 times 2, that is 24. So, yung common sa kanila, ibaba po natin si 2 at saka si 3. Okay? So, ayan po, 2 at saka 3, 2 times 3, and that is 6. Yan po yung second method in order for us to solve the GCF of 18 and 24. Okay, so I hope klaro po siya. And the correct answer here is letter, ayun, letter, letter B. Okay, so, and I, this is the last sample problem for GCF for our lecture. Actually, don't worry po, marami pa po tayong mga sample problems hanggang uh, harating tayo sa, sa board exam na po talaga, sa civil service exam. Naway makatulong po kami, or nakatulong po ako, Sa pag, kasi marami pong nahihirapan daw sa mata. Actually, hindi naman po mahirap. Just lagay lang natin sa mind natin na kaya natin. And practice lang ng practice ng pagsusol. Unlike kasi sa amin sa engineering, pwede yung calculator. But sa civil service, hindi pwede yung calculator. Again, kahit hindi pwede, may mga techniques naman tayo na pwede natin magamit. Sa pagpatuloy yung pag-watch ng video, tuturo po ako ng mga techniques on how to solve kapag dali yung pag solve natin sa mga sample problems. Okay. Thank you for watching and my questions kayo. You can ano lang question PM me directly. Okay, so our next topic is LCM and don't forget to click subscribe para if may mga ma-upload ako ng videos, mag-a-update po sa inyo. Again, have a nice day and enjoy studying.